part two of this swarm management video have a look down there they are paired defenders and attackers together so this is at least a defensive swarm from this mother hive you can see them what they do is they lock together in a death struggle neither will separate from that so they're both dead all those bees are now dead so this is definitely a defensive swarm no question about it so what's happened here is this wooden hive has decided to come out and attack any bees around what do i def think is happening well this honeypot hive is starting to send out foragers and that's okay that's what they do but the number of for but since this hive now has a queen in it it's got a different scent and the workers coming out of here don't smell the same as the workers here and maybe some of the workers as they learn to orientate back to the honeypot hive are coming too close to this hive and so what's happening? You're getting the bees going in defense mode. Now who'd win in this battle? Oh, there's no question, this hive will win. Will that hive supplant the honeypot hive? I doubt it. But what it does require is me to do something about this hive. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm gonna clog up the entrance with a bit of tissue and put a one-way valve in to allow bees to come back but not go out and move the hive because what is happening I believe is this hive is now interfering in the flight path of this hive and this hive has set up a classic defensive swarm so I'm off now to do amendments